everyone how are you all so welcome to jilekta which is all about learning excellence right here you will get to have all the necessary things that you require for your 11 plus entrance exam okay What is Jelecta? Jelecta is an online tutoring platform that provides tuition services from year one till year 13, that is A level. Okay, and we cover up almost all the necessary subjects like mathematics, biology, verbal reasoning, non-verbal reasoning, English, and many, many more, right? And specifically, if we talk about 11 plus, we cover all the boards, that is CSSC, SET, GL, and FSE. Okay, what is 11 plus at Jelecta? So Jelecta is one-stop solution for your 11 plus preparation. Why so? We provide notes, we give practice test assignments, mock test, we have interactive lecture sessions, we have revision sessions, doubt sessions, we also provide counseling on one on one basis and especially by experts, right? So in case you know anything, in case you want to know anything specific, you can always contact us. Here we also be focusing more on past papers and we follow the same patterns in our mock test and in our class work class as well okay for any further details you can contact the numbers that are given below for calling up you can call this number and we have two whatsapp numbers and we have two ids right mail ids so in case you need any contact details you can refer to the bottom what are we going to cover today? We will be covering up one of the topics of 11 plus. We'll be providing easy tips and tricks to complete questions quickly. And of course, we will also be, we will also be learning new techniques and solve questions live. All right. And yes, you will also be getting a free mock test paper as a homework today. Um, Abdul, for that board, you can contact, contact the management, okay? They'll give you the necessary details regarding the same. All right. Our today's topic is figure of speech. Now, what do you understand by figure of speech? What comes to your mind when you hear the word figure of speech? Please write in the chat box. Yes, what do you understand by figure of speech? Come on, write in the chat box. Asher, Azin, Ruhan, Naba. A trick in writing, okay. A trick in writing. Azan has shared a trick in writing. All right, Azan. What else? Others? Rohan Abdul. Inverted speech. Okay. Inverted speech means direct speech, you mean. A type of speech. All right. A type of speech. Saying something that is not true. Rather saying something that is not true. Okay, I'm just writing down your responses. Bang comes in my mind that figure of speech is simile, metaphor, uh, personification. All right, Abdul. Yes, Noor, Abdul, all right. Rohan, you can answer in the chat box, please. All right, Abdul, Noor, correct. Others, Abdul is saying it's similes, metaphor, personification, onomatopoeia, which is correct. And um, 
Noor has shared irony, which is also a part of figure of speech. Absolutely. All right. So basically, answer given by Abdul and Noor are correct. They shared figure of speech is all about simile, metaphor, personification, hyperbole, oxymoron. There are many, but we will just be doing few of them. Okay? Yes, Abdul, absolutely. Right? We have alliteration. We have alliteration. We have onomatopoeia. All right. Yes, absolutely. Right. And we will be studying all of them. And you must be having, yes, irony is also there that no share. But as of now, we are just discussing these. And if you know these one, these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, it will, and you're going to use them in your creative writing and you are having a good knowledge about the same, then it would be great. Wonderful. Right. Because that's, that would really help you. Okay, the first one is simile. In simple words, simile, I call it in simple words, basically, when we compare using like or as. Okay, please make your notes also. And I would request everybody to turn on the camera. Ahmed, Naba, Azin, Ashar, please turn on your cameras. What is simile? Simile is when we compare using like or as. You can make notes simultaneously. Let's read it now. A simile is a figure of speech that is mainly used to compare two or more things that possess a similar quality. It uses words such as like or as to make the comparisons. Okay, right? For example, Steph Stephen slept like a baby after walking for 10 long hours. So Stephen is being compared to a baby using the word like all right next we have my father has eyes like a hawk he finds out even the minutest of things now father's eyes are being compared to hawk using the word like okay when we are comparing using the word like that's what simile is bob is as cunning as a fox so Bob is being compared to a fox using the word as. All right. Am I clear with it? I'm telling you in the simplest manner. All right. I hope I'm clear. Everybody, you can show me thumbs up or give me any kind of sign or write in the chat box so that I know you are clear with it. All right, Ahmed. Rohan, is it clear? Naba, Abdul, Azan, Ashar, Busola, Abdul. All right, Ashar. All right. Okay, I'm getting responses. All right. Thank you, Naba. You're clapping. All right. Next, we have metaphor. In simple words, I would say when we compare without using like or as okay when we compare without using like or as that's what metaphor is a metaphor is a figure of speech that is used to make comparison but in a way different from a simile it makes a comparison as if it was literally true in other words it can be said that a metaphor is an implied comparison all right, for example, my mother has a heart of gold. Okay, 
so mother's heart is being compared to a gold okay so here without using like or as are you understanding yes mother's heart is being compared to gold all right yes ashar any question you're raising your hand you can type your question in the chat box here all right next my friend sister sharon is a night owl so sharon is being compared to a night owl okay maybe she wakes up during the night and she sleeps the whole day okay next hello arva how are you okay next we have you just have to consider the world a stage and act accordingly so the world is being compared to a stage okay world is like a stage and we all are players right we all are act, you know enacting in it we all are players here are you understanding world is being compared to a stage right so this is metaphor here we are comparing but without using like or as next we have personification personification now what is personification personification is in simple words i would say like um it's raining outside and uh, the clouds are and you know i am telling you you know what the clouds are crying can the clouds cry no it's a human trait right who cries people if i say my door is screaming as it's not working properly so whenever i open it it makes a sound and i am saying it has it's screaming all right so can the door scream no who screams people so when we give human traits to objects that's what personification is and apart from that you can remember it like this the word personification starts with the word person so you can remember when we give a person straight to an object that's what personification is absolutely right right abdul right so when we are giving a person straight to an object that's what personification is you can remember it like this so personification is a figure of speech that is used to attribute human characteristics to something that is not human for example the sun kissed me when i was clicking a picture right a, the sun cannot come and click us uh, kiss us right the flowers dance to the wind that means flowers cannot dance they must be moving in the wind but they cannot dance but we are using the word dance for flowers which is again a human trait i felt like the food kept calling me so i i you know it 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 can happen that i like something and i'm saying i think that food is calling me pizza is calling me pizza cannot call me right first one does make sense because uh, we say that you know who can uh, you know we usually say when we are with our parents you know they hug us they kiss us they show affection towards us right humans can do that parents can do that but not the sun right yes are you understanding all right next we have our achievers all right and i would like to share with you helen paul josh joelin arya arvi mohammed abiha ahana abdul ashwan blossom they all are achievers of the previous session and abdul is here with us even now and his brother is studying with us even now and he's there in uh, this uh, you know session and both of the brothers are here one brother one abdul has already completed has already clarified you know cleared 11 plus exam and has got admission here and his brother is also now with us and he is also doing wonderful all right so have we have a lot of expectations all right i know abdul i can see you all right so our summer intensive course is going to start from 22nd july all right i think and it's going to be in the month of july and august all right every day you will be having two hour session and recordings will be available and free mock tests with solution will be provided to you and these are the topics that we are going to cover in our summer intensive course i'm 
I would highly recommend to you that you must, must join the summer intensive course if you want a complete revision. Because we are going to cover up topics also, comprehension poem, passage, doubt session and mock test will also be included. So first two, three classes will be based on topic revision. Then we will have comprehension class. Then we will have doubt session and then we will have mock test session. Right. So the whole week will be covered till the end of August. OK, so in case you want a revision for all the subjects, you can always enroll yourself for this course and it's going to start maybe from 22nd July. So please, yes, 22nd July. And this is the cost of first session. Please contact the management for the same. You have the contact details here. All right. Yes, Arwa, you're raising your hand. Yes, dear. Through, uh, I mean, it's going to be all, uh, you know, except for Sunday, I think it's going to be from Monday to Saturday. Uh, it's going to be alternate days. It, or, I mean, it's for two hours, right? So on one day, you will have uh, English and verbal reasoning. Then the next day, you will have maths and non uh, you know, English and non-verbal reasoning or maths or non-verbal reasoning like this. You will have two, two subjects every day. Two hours classes will be there. Two hours classes every day and two different subjects. One hour to one subject and the other hour to the other subject. Okay. Fine. So I would highly recommend it to you if you want a revision, a good revision of the topics of comprehension and of mock test. Everything will be included. And every day we are going to have these sessions. Okay. So I would suggest that you must, must en enroll yourself for this. And yes, we are also having one-to-one -one group online, one-to-one -one sessions and uh, on the group online tutoring sessions also. Primary school, secondary school, and senior secondary school, we are covering everything. And you can definitely book a free demo session with us. You can, I think you, you people are already with us. So in case you have any friends, your siblings, your cousins, you can spread the word, take a screenshot and spread it in your WhatsApp groups, right? As much as you can so that, you, you know, the... Uh, because it's required, all right? So please spread the word and uh, in case anyone who would like to enroll with us for this summer course or for the next session, right? Next, we have oxymoron. Now, oxymoron is when two opposites come together. When two opposites, in simple words, come together. Okay. For example, she is regularly irregular. An oxymoron is a rhetorical device that uses two opposite or contradictory terms one after the other in order to project an effect. Someone asks for mournful melodies. Melodies are meant to be meant to make someone happy, right? And now we have mournful. Mournful melodies. These are completely opposite ones. Chester demanded that he wanted the whole piece of cake. Either it is whole or it is a piece. Right? Either it is a whole or it is a piece. So it's two opposites coming together. Next, we have technological advancement in the educational department is completely based on virtual re reality. So virtual and reality, two opposites coming together. Absolutely, Omatola, peaceful war. Peaceful war. Can you share some examples of oxymoron with me in the chat box? Two opposites, like Omotola has shared, peaceful war. War and peaceful are two opposite things.
deepening silence all right the richest poor all right the cake was badly good okay or you can say awfully good it was burning snow all right Silent cry. All right, wonderful. Terribly good. Wonderful. Great. Now we have hyperbole. Hyperbole. It's quite clear from the word itself. One last time reading. Abdul has shared the for oxymoron. That was the worst of all the good performance. Nice. All right. Okay. So we have hyperbole here. Hyperbole is quite clear from the word itself. Hyperbole is when we are exaggerating something, right? A hyperbole is a rhetorical device that is mainly used to make something look and sound a lot better than it actually is. All right. In other words, it can be said to be a form of exaggeration. I would say if you want to remember it in short, so you can always remember it like this. It is. exaggeration all right when we are exaggerating something when she did the flips at the dance she landed as light as a feather all right this is exaggeration as light as a feather and we can also call it a simile right because we are comparing her with a feather i am so hungry i could eat all the food here one cannot be so hungry that one can eat if you if you are there at a hotel or a restaurant you cannot eat all the food in the menu right next my brother said that he had a million things to do when he was actually sitting idle one cannot have a million things to do that's just exaggeration right now i can say that this is you know every home situation every sibling story isn't it they keep saying talking about their brother and sister my brother said that he had a million things to do when he was actually sitting idle right next we are open for the admission of 2024 25 for the next session in case you know anyone in your friends and family please spread the word so that maximum students can reach us and fulfill their dream of cracking 11 plus right and as we say that you know as very rightly said that you know it's always better to spread the to spread the knowledge and so that you know more and more people can fulfill their dreams and get the right guidance and education all right so it's very important that you also become a part of the same and you also you know you can how can you be a part of the same by spreading the word okay you can take a screenshot spread it so that the upcoming batch students can enroll with us and fulfill their dreams all right abdul okay find your now our upcoming sessions today we have 19 it's 19 july all right and we are having figure of speech next session is going to be on 22nd july and it's going to be on word problem in case you know anyone in your friends and family i would again say or your uh, you know your uh, school classmates or uh, your cousins who are preparing for 11 plus exam they can also join us free of cost and gain the knowledge right so next session is going to be on saturday that is of verbal reasoning and the topic is word problem next is alliteration alliteration is the repetition of the same sound at the start of several words i always share the example Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. All right, if you have heard it, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Here we can see the repetition of the same sound at the start of several words. Right, most of the words are starting with the same sound, and we call it tongue twister. Also, what do we call it? tongue twister it's a game that we play with our uh, friends with our cousins i used to play it when i was of your age and even today i do play it right so yes silly sally sells shells at the 
see sure tiana the tiger tried to tell the truth absolutely these are all tongue twisters right and this is a wonderful example of alliteration so let's read here it's a literary device that uses similar phonetic sounds in continuity to make a effect to make an effect this device is usually used to decorate the words with a musical lyrical or emotional effect the wind swayed slow softly and smoothly swayed softly and smoothly you drive your destiny drive destiny he held her hands okay fine so it is the repetition of the same sound at the start of several words next we have onomatopoeia onomatopoeia in simple words we call them as sound words all right for example he popped out of the box he banged the door he splashed into the water so splash pop bang these words sound like the sound they describe okay so what is onomatopoeic words these words sound like the sound they describe okay am i clear they sound like the sound they describe the horse hoofs clip clopped on the cobble stones the cabinet opened with a distinct creak the flag flapped in wind so clip clopped creak flapped this these words sound like the sound they describe okay let's do it read the following sentences and identify the figure of speech the thief was as sly as a fox please write in the chat box which figure of speech is it quickly answer simile correct next we have upon explanation the concept was as clear as crystal to robin correct the soldier jumped on the enemies like a hungry lion the soldier jumped on the enemies like a hungry lion okay that simile again The camel is the ship of the desert. What is D? Absolutely, Emma. Mr. Smith thought the Swedes were calling him. Can the Swedes call someone? It's a human trait that we are giving up, giving to an object. absolutely that's called personification next we have i it seemed that the sky was going to cry the entire night it seemed that the sky was going to cry the entire night personification the sky cannot cry absolutely i walked a million miles to get here absolutely arva hyperbole that touched miss david with its icy fingers h would be personification again sheldon is a walking dictionary so sheldon is being compared to a dictionary and we call it as metaphor now because we are comparing without using like or as the sausages tasted awfully good oxymoron two opposites are there
Chin was as proud as a peacock. Simile, absolutely correct. Wonderful responses, everyone. And I'm really glad that you all participated. And most of you participated, not all, I would say. And you really answered to the best of your ability. And I hope you could understand and you could, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite aware that you're already aware about it. But I hope you had a good revision, I would say that. Yes? Did you have a good revision? Right? Okay. Now, please give me one sentence of hyperbole in the chat box. One sentence of hyperbole, using hyperbole in the chat box. Hyperbole means exaggeration. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. All right. Next. Others. I bet I can gobble the whole world up. Okay. I could die if I had more food. All right. She danced as light as a feather. All right. This can be simile as well, right? I could eat 100 pounds of food as I'm so hungry. I crave for pizza. I could eat a million slices in a go. All right. Great, great. Remaining once is going to be your homework. All right. You can do it. Take a screenshot. Do it. And so you can send it to us. I will definitely be checking it. All right. I will definitely be checking it. Please take a screenshot, write sentence, one sentence for each and send it to us on WhatsApp with a message that please forward it to Miss Annie. I will definitely be checking it. All right. So we are also having, we have also started with pre-test scores, right? For 11 plus ISEB common pre-test scores, 2023-24. So for students who are entering year five or year six, and we have, this is how we have scheduled it for English, maths, NVR, and VR. You can take a screenshot, discuss with your parents, and you can enroll yourself for the same. Okay, it's really going to be beneficial. And uh, take a screenshot, everyone. On all five days, we are going to study this. You can see the topics, and it's going to be a great, great practice. Take a screenshot, everyone. All right. You can um, join us on our social media platforms. On Instagram, we have the page with the word Gilecta Learning. And we, you can subscribe our channel on YouTube. You can join our page on Facebook with the name Gilecta. And something which is extremely important, you must join our Telechart group, which is with the name, with the title, with the heading, this. All right. For any further details, feel free to contact us, WhatsApp us, or drop an email. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you had a great, great session and you could understand and rather you could revise it well. Right? Yes? Bye-bye. Take care. I have received some messages.